mother's eyes, the wind, stomachs. The things that change are the best things to have faith in. You know what's coming. One, mother's eyes. The day Laoye got married, your mouth said words your eyes didn't agree with. I agreed with your eyes, how they shapeshift between pity and joy, backstroke of waterfalls and how they, unlike your back, grow agile with time. I could never escape them. Even now, your prayers for me make me feel like the distance between us is only as wide as the space between your eyes and there, everything is true. Two, the wind. Breeze comes to Lagos on flying visits, here then gone. You keep your windows open to let her know she's welcome. I don't know when I convinced myself that home was too hot to live in. Sweat used to be something that came from effort. Now it comes from just standing under the sun. And when the wind visits, she feels more alien than I am. Carrying scents and secrets of all the places she takes part in but never calls home. I thought I was a nomad until she reminded me that I still needed a passport to travel. I thought I was a nomad until she reminded me that I still have house keys. The wind reminds me that sometimes I like to live truths I can't hold. Three, stomachs. Mine speaks in two tongues, hunger and wisdom. I know that eating too much clouds judgment and indigestion comes from bad choices. Mine speaks louder than my faith. Sometimes it speaks louder than God. Mother might be louder than both. It is honest, more than me sometimes. I'm sure if it had a mouth, it wouldn't eat as much, but there everything settles. Food, air, excitement, pain, and worry. Unlike home, it handles all truths. Back home, they say that our eyes are bigger than our stomachs. So we eat like they are infinite, and in doing so, we pass our limits and pollute the wind with fumes of greed. We'd be wise to remember that things that stretch have limits. Mother's eyes can see beyond my years, but she keeps looking back at her mistakes. The wind is free, but goes only when we let it, and the stomachs widen with experience and shrink with discipline. And isn't that true? How sometimes it only goes as far as we want it to.